Module 4, Dimensions, covers the following topics. Dimension placement, unknown pipe lengths, subdimensions, and changing pipe lengths. Once the ISO is complete, it is time to add dimensions. Dimensions will allow us to create the bill of material. The dimension tool is located under the Utilities tab, and then the ISO dimensioning. This brings up a dialog box that allows us to set the dimension plane and change the plane to match the style of ISO dimension we would like to place. Select the Change button to see the available options. Select the appropriate dimension plane and then continue dimensioning. Before dimensioning, you may want to adjust some of the dimensional values through our Standards Manager. Under our isometric settings, under the dimension variables, we can see some of the AutoCAD dimension variables that can be set and adjusted to match a particular project or client need. Once these are set, we can apply and then minimize, and the new dimension settings will be in effect. So let's place our dimension. We'll start with our vessel to our elbow. We'll select our Utilities tab, select our ISO Dimension tool, check our ISO plane, click OK, and we'll start from the center of the vessel. to the face of flange, and then the dimension line location, graphically pick out about here, and it puts in our dimension. We'll then select the center of the elbow, and the dimension is automatically placed. The values, the 2 and 1 eighth, the 2 was the nozzle projection, the eighth inch is for the gasket, the 9 inches that came in automatically are from our flange, dimension and our elbow dimension, which equate to 9 inches. The next topic to discuss is the unknown pipe lengths. So we'll take a look at our next dimension that we're going to place. We're going to place a dimension from this elbow to the elbow at the bottom with an unknown length of pipe in between. Select our dimension tool, change our isoplane. First extension line will be the center of our top elbow to the center of the bottom elbow. The distance away, graphically, come out here. It then asks for a dimension. We put in just the overall value, and it will calculate. So it will subtract out the elbow at the top and the elbow at the bottom. And the dimension is placed. We can continue with our dimension just by clicking the next dimension plane and carrying on with the dimension. So we'll now do a dimension for our valve and then another unknown length of pipe. Next dimension line origin picks up the first one automatically. We'll pick up the middle of the flange and pick a distance that we would like the dimension to be away, and it will put in the dimension. We'll now pick up the middle of the next flange by putting the value of the two gaskets, eighth of an inch gasket, so a quarter inch, plus the nine inch value for the valve, and then finally our overall dimension. With an unknown length of pipe, we can put in the value and we can exit out and it will put in the length of the pipe. We can continue and finish off our dimension string. Our next topic is subdimensions. When we have a dimension to place that isn't an overall dimension, we can place it as a subdimension. We will place a dimension from the threadlet to the center line of the pipe. Select the ISO dimensioning tool, check the ISO plane setting, toggle on subdimension and then click OK. We will place the dimension from the threadlet to the elbow, distance away, pick a point, enter the overall dimension, so just the dimension from the threadlet to the pipe, and let's say it's 14 inches, put in the value, click OK, and it places the dimension. The last topic in Module 4 is changing pipe lengths. If a change in pipe length is required, there is a tool. Select the Bill of Material Settings tab and select the Change Pipe Length tool. Select the pipe that you would like to change the length 
and then select the dimension text. The dialog box appears. Enter the new dimension text, and let's say we want to change this to 47 inches. Put in the value, select OK, and the isometric will update the dimension. This concludes the topics covered in Module 4. Please review Module 4 or select the next module.